U.S. prosecutors have accused Donald Trump's former campaign chairman Paul Manafort, who is facing multiple charges of money laundering, bank fraud and illegal lobbying, of attempting to tamper with witnesses. A motion submitted by special counsel Robert Mueller, who is heading up the main investigation into alleged Russian election meddling, said that Mr. Manafort had contacted witnesses by phone and encrypted text messaging for the purpose of securing materially false testimony. It added that such activities amounted to a violation of his bail terms, which triggers the statutory presumption in favor of detention, meaning he could face jail time ahead of his trials. Today, a federal judge has set a 15 June hearing on the matter, according to a court filing. Mr. Manafort has been under home confinement since he was indicted in October. According to the court document, he had sought to suborn perjury from witnesses who would be called to testify regarding the activities of the so-called Habsburg Group, which allegedly carried out unlawful lobbying for Ukraine. In February, the 69-year-old pleaded not guilty to charges of money laundering, illegal lobbying and lying, setting up the first trial to result from Mr. Mueller's investigation, due to begin on 17 September. Then in March, he pleaded not guilty to charges of bank and tax fraud, setting up a separate trial for the 10th of July. Read more, Manafort pleads not guilty to criminal charges who are Paul Manafort and Rick Gates. Mr. Mueller's investigation has entered its second year, and continues to dominate U.S. politics while menacing Mr. Trump's presidency. So far the investigation has issued 22 indictments, of which 16 were for Russian individuals and companies associated with online meddling in the 2016 election. The remaining include Michael Flynn, Mr. Trump's former national security adviser, who admitted guilt to one count of lying to investigators in December, Mr. Manafort's longtime partner and deputy campaign chair Rick Gates and campaign foreign policy adviser George Papadopoulos. All three worked out plea deals and have pledged to cooperate with the investigation. Yesterday, Mr. Trump downplayed Mr. Manafort's role in his election campaign and complained the FBI should have informed him that his chairman was under investigation. As only one of two people left who could become president, why wouldn't the FBI or Department of Justice have told me that they were secretly investigating Paul Manafort, he asked. Paul Manafort came into the campaign very late and was with us for a short period of time, he represented Ronald Reagan, Bob Dole, 